five smart start play areas. It's pretend area, art area, story area, building area, and games area. These five areas are set up in such a way that they are not too far away from each other and at the same time not too close to each other. Let's start by talking about the building area. All your construction toys, they go into this area. It's there for children to use, explore the material, whatever way they like to explore it. And remember, it's where mathematical skills start. Children learn about weight, size, and height as they will be playing like making bridges. And cars also are here in this area. Let's now talk about an art area. Then the purpose of this area, it helps children develop the fine motor muscles. And also, children design. They make patterns. That is why it is so important that we don't only focus on paint. We can even put pieces of material some pieces of a uh, sack, some pieces of onion bags, some brushes you can even make out of sponges, leaves, sticks, charcoal, stones, sand, musical instruments are not far away from this area. Let's move now to pretend area. This is an area where children fantasize a lot. They tend to imitate the characters of the people they see outside there. So in this area, some children might want to be doctors. They might want to be farmers. They might even want to be just mothers and cook in the kitchen. The beauty of this area is that, again, the children won't only imitate, but the children will dramatize. They will get in and actually act. Children socialize a lot. And this is where you're going to see children expressing and they will take the world from outside and bring it into this area. The games area, you'll find puzzles. What is important about this area is that the children, they concentrate and they match and they play games. They also learn about winning and losing because they also learn about taking turns when they engage themselves into this, this kind of play. In the story area, this is where children are learning literacy. The literacy starts there. This is where we store a variety of, of books, a variety of puppets, because this is an area where children are learning about handling books, the same books that the teachers have been using when they were te they are telling stories are the books that are going to go into the story area. And the children are going to take the same books and read those books. Children are going to play reading stories to one another without even having the teachers. And they can also learn. Sometimes children, if they need to, be, to have a quiet time, this is the area that they will go to and spend that time. It should be comfortable and cozy so that children can really enjoy the reading. 